Hey guys, I'm at the 200 yard range at the Chattanooga Rifle Club again. And this time I'm uh, trying out a rifle that um, I made some mods to. Uh, this was an effort to go light, and I have an 11 and a half inch uh, Voodoo barrel in it, the ultralight. Um, I've got a uh, Midwest Industries uh, ultralight uh, M-Lock. I've got a lighter suppressor on it now. It's a direct screw on. It's by Liberty and it's the Triumph model. I have a loophole Mark AR. Is that the name of that thing? And it's a 1.5 to 4. Actually, it goes to 3.9 when you look in the specs. But it's super light. The thing weighs about uh, 10 ounces, as I recall. I got some uh, Yankee Hill uh, scope risers and some. Um, Oh uh, gee, I'll never remember who the uh, Brown L's uh, scope rings to raise my scope up. I don't like scopes that hug the receiver. This is not designed for that. And you can see when I look through it, I've got a much more comfortable head position than this. I've been shooting at the 200 yard range with a four power scope, and I've been pretty impressed with it. I'm using factory ammo. Uh, this is HPR. Uh, the groups look pretty good though. One other thing I've done to this rifle is I had a uh, gas piston up here on the front by Adam's arm and I've removed it and put a SLR gas block on it. Uh, I've had some trouble with gas blocks wanting to freeze up. This one's working good. It has a detent so when you um, change the setting it, it locks into place and the only thing I've got to find out about is after I shoot it some and it sets, does, does the carbon that blows by the, the adjustment um, freeze it up or seize it up? So I'll have to see about that. I'm really pleased with the results I'm getting from this. I've shot uh, several 1 MOA groups at 200 yards with an 11, 11 and a half inch barrel and a four power scope with a kind of a tactical reticle in it. And I'm using a little green dot that lights up right in the center of the crosshair. So I'm going to shoot a uh, shoot and see type bullseye. It's a much better buy than shoot and see and it works about the same. Uh, the shots I shot in the opening frame there, I was on the wrong target. So now I'll have to try to sort through which hits went where. So I wanted to shoot this though so you could see about the pace I'm shooting at 200 yards with this gun and scope. So here we go. I'll check it out through the spotting scope. And uh, we'll take a look at it when I drive down. I've saved the best for last for me, and that's a graphic of a coyote. And I'm looking down there. If I didn't know there was a coyote graphic target down there, I, I couldn't recognize it with my eyes. And um, four power doesn't help a whole lot. So if you're going low power at 200 yards, keep in mind one thing that a more powerful scope not only helps you get on target a little better, it helps you see it better in the first place. Now four power is enough to pick that out, but I know where to look and I, I know what I'm looking for. Sometimes out in the wild you're not going to have that advantage. Turn the green dot on. I'm going to check that. I got one in the red dot. I can't even see the red dot. Another one an inch from it. Another one about two inches from it. So that's a one MOA group at 200 yards. Four power scope, 11 and a half inch depressed barrel. Factory MO. I'm pleased. Well, I like the modifications I made. Uh, it's working good. It's a very lightweight rifle. I can't wait to weigh it. I want to see what it weighs. I'm saying as you see it, and I'm going to take the trap, the bipod off, it's going to be close to seven pounds. That's scope, suppressor, rifle, and all. 
Uh, I've got one more thing to shoot. That's the dinger at 200 yards. And I'm going to try to do a speed shoot on that. And what I'll do is turn that camera. I only have one set up today. I'll turn that camera down to the dinger and zoom in, and you can see the hits or see the misses, as the case may be. Okay, guys, here we go. Uh, you're watching the target. I'll do some shooting here and try to do some rapid fire stuff at 200 yards. That's a 12 by 12 inch dinger. Actually, I can't tell how well that went. I heard a couple of clicks, but until I watch the video, I won't really know if I hit it. Well, I watched the uh, playback on the video just on the camera, and uh, that was five hits. So that was pretty fast. I've gone faster, but I'm really pleased with this. I think it's going to be a good setup. It would take out a coyote at 200 yards if I could see it without any problems. <laughs> 